Hello guys, it's Matt and welcome to another optimization video. Finally, we are back after a long time away. And also speaking of long time away, Spider-Man is now out on PC. Mostly there are some good news, but some bad news along the way. The good news first, the graphics options on here are comprehensive and allows different kinds of users to tailor the game's visuals to their own hardware's performance. The bad news is not a literal negative from an optimization standpoint, it's just the game's quite intensive and very confusing once ray tracing comes into play, which is kind of expected for a PC title in 2022. Take note guys that I am using an RTX 3070 with a 5600X Ryzen processor. Let's see if we can hit a consistent 60 plus FPS as we swing around the city in its best visual fidelity. First things first, let us select the very high preset. Then switch ambient occlusion from HBAO to SSAO. For some odd reason, HPAO looks broken in this game, the contact shadowing accuracy you would normally get using HPAO is weirdly absent here, and it's not just because the labels are switched or something like that, performance still reflects the intensive nature of HPAO, as you can see here in their frame rate comparison, but SSAO has more shadowing depth in this title, especially the areas between the ground and the objects. So this is a no-brainer, not only will you get a better picture quality in SSAO, but you will also enjoy a healthy performance boost. Next, simply increase texture filtering to 16x, shadow quality to very high, and if your CPU has a good single thread performance, increased LOD to very high. As I have said earlier, this game is intensive. Not just for your GPU, but also for your CPU. To test your case, take note of your GPU usage whenever you swing around the city. If it drops below 90% constantly, that is usually a sign of a CPU bottleneck. So you can try testing the different level of detail settings and see if your usage increased around 90 to 99%, which should also improve your frame rate along with it. For me, I'd recommend very high for today's CPUs, but you can also settle with high. Just be careful with going anywhere lower since it will remove objects at a more noticeable distance, which means more pop-in and we don't want that. For the AA solution, I recommend using TAA over DLAA if you favor performance. However, DLAA looks much more sharper compared to TAA, so if you favor clarity over performance, go with DLAA. So that's it guys, if you're not interested in RTX, then just leave them off and you can go ahead and enjoy the game. Oh, but you still want RTX, well okay, let's go ahead. After testing for so many hours, I have found that there are two different combination sets of RTX performance scaling which are weirdly opposite of each other. The first is RTX with no upscaling techniques and the second RTX with upscaling techniques. For the first set, this is where I recommend you to use Digital Foundry's RTX combination of high reflection resolution and very high geometry detail. Dropping to high resolution may give you more noisy artifacts along the edges of ray trace deflections, as you can see here, but using very high geometry compensates this light resolution downgrade by giving you far more complex details in the objects that your eye can immediately notice. On top of that, this combination also gives you a far superior performance. If you are not using upscaling methods, just use this combination. Now on to set 2. The reason for this distinction is that once you use upscaling methods, the visual difference in performance scaling is actually reversed. The first combination of high reflection resolution and very high geometry detail will now give you degraded visuals and worse performance compared to very high reflection resolution and just high geometry detail. This applies to all three upscaling methods. 
Take a look at this example. Notice how set number 1 has become much more noisier visually and performs much worse compared to set 2. Notice how GPU usage also dropped when using the previous combination which caused the lower performance. If you would like to use upscaling methods, increasing geometry quality will introduce CPU bottlenecks. So be sure to use this combination number 2. Either way, always use Object Detail Level 6. Increasing Object Detail does generate more ray-traced objects, but there are diminishing returns once you go above 6 because CPU usage heavily increases, which causes your GPU usage to also drop and decrease your frame rate even further. At the same time, the visual difference is very minimal to the naked eye, so just stay at level 6. Finally, let's move ahead to those upscaling methods. Now you might think AMD's new FSR 2.0 is the best, but for Spider-Man, it is still DLSS quality to my eyes. Take a look at this example. Notice the flickering in a distant building is only present in IGTI and FSR 2.0. On DLSS, this is entirely absent. IGTI also looks the most blurred out of all the three upscaling methods. But you decide for yourself. What do you think looks the best? To recap, I recommended three main groups of graphics combinations. The first one, the non-RTX combination. Simply select the very high preset, set AO to SSAO, increase texture filtering to 16x, shadow quality to very high, LOD to very high, and use TAA. The second one is the RTX with no upscaling methods. Just carry over the settings we used in the first group enable ray trace reflections, set reflection quality to high, and geometry quality to very high. The third and last group is the opposite of the second group. Toggle reflection quality from high to very high, and geometry quality from very high to high. And don't forget to enable your preferred upscaling method. For me, it would be DLSS quality. Now, Let's take a look at how our different settings groups compare to a fully maxed out RTX configuration at 1440p. What settings group would you choose on your own machine? So that's it for me guys. I hope this video helped you out in some way. Please do tell me if you're having problems down in the comment section. And please don't forget, enjoy the game guys. Thanks again everyone. Take care. Bye bye.